Okay, guys. Ooh, let us continue with uh, let us continue with um protein. All right. So, uh, bagi cabang kedua. Now, if you watch the first one, this should be the second video lah. Okay. Now, uh, kalau kamu tengok cabang kedua, ini merujuk kepada protein. Now, guys, straight to the point. Straight to the point. Protein here, the elements include chon, chon. Uh, I call it chon sungai petani lah. By the way, ya. Uh. Okay. Uh, so elemen yang terdapat dalam protein ialah carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen. Nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus. Okay, so these are the six elements that are involved. Okay, now some basic stuff that you have to know. Ah, uh. put this nearer. Okay, some basic stuff that you have to know. I'm not sure whether this is blocking. Okay, ah. Uh. Okay, now, uh, yang pertama sekali, apakah monomer? Apakah monomer bagi protein? Uh, I'm sure everyone knows this. Uh. The answer is amino acid. Okay, dalam BMSC amino. Um, guys, if I were to ask you, how many types are there? How many types are there? Okay, uh, some of you might be thinking two. Some of you might be thinking twenty. Either one is fine because. Um, you just have a slightly slight different idea. So, amino acid there are twenty types. Duoplogenes acid amino. Tapi dengar dulu ah, uh, ini de, dibahagikan kepada dua kumpulan, iaitu uh, we call it essential, non-essential. Okay, uh, maksudnya maksudnya perlu tak perlu. Okay, ataupun penting tak penting. Ya. Yeah. Uh, so basically, from the reference book, you might get these two slightly different. Lah. In BM, this can be called perlu tak perlu, atau uh, penting tak penting lah. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Now, so this is how you remember. Oh, by the way, the duoplogenes acid amino tak perlu hafal lah. Tripsin lah, alanine lah, tryptophan lah. All those don't need to remember. Uh, so you got memorized before or not? Yes. The twenty amino acids we memorized when we were form. I mean, when I was form six, lah. Yeah. Okay. Now, we even had to categorize all the twenty amino acid into the four categories. Some more. Nah, no joke. No joke. Okay. Anyway, so essential, non-essential. This is how you remember essential perlu. Kenapa perlu? Sebab badan anda tidak boleh mensintesiskannya. Body. Cannot synthesize this amino acids. Okay, that's why important. That's why important. Now, non-essential means not important. Kenapa tak penting? Uh, because our body can synthesize. Badan kita boleh mensintesiskan uh, acid amino ini. Now, guys, just in case you are wondering, eh, sir, if our body cannot produce, then how? Don't worry, we get it from food. Kita dapatkan asid amino perlu daripada uh, sumber makanan. Ah, okay. Okay, what else is there? Okay, tengok. Okay, pelajar pelajar sekalian. Let's say this is one amino acid. It is amino acid lah, yeah. Okay, I just, I just uh, write here lah amino. Okay, I, I write here, I write here. One is amino acid lah. Got it. So, kalau dua, kalau dua, dipeptida, dipeptida, we call it dipeptide in English. Uh, tiga, tripeptide, tripeptida, but don't need to know lah this one. This is not in the syllabus. So, kalau empat atau lebih, then only poly. Peptide. Guys, this is a very important word. Later, we need this word in the four structures. Okay? Dan, uh, the antara acid amino, the antara acid amino, this is called a peptide bond. Ikatan peptida. Ikatan peptida, yeah? Okay? Uh, so, the basic stuff settled. Okay, now, in short, there are four structures that you have to study. Uh, 
there are I write here lah. Okay, there are four structures of protein that you have to know. Terdapat empat struktur eh? protein yang anda perlu faham. So primer, secunda, tertiary, quaternary. These are the four structures. I think the space a bit too cramped. Let me just expand a little bit lah. Eh? So let's say saya lukis atas sikit Now in terms of structure There are four types Primary, secondary, tertiary As well as quaternary guys I think you can see eh? Okay So now primary here is like this uh, Contoh lah, contoh lah So uh, there are four amino acids So first one alanine Second serine, valine, lysine Example lah, example Alanine, serine, valine, lysine, example. So, what you see here is the primary structure. Why primary structure, guys? It is of linear sequence. Okay? Urutan linear. Urutan linear dan juga kita boleh nampak bilangan acid amino. I can see here there are four. So, we can also see clearly number of amino acid. Done. That's all, okay? Okay, uh, guys, hopefully, okay. Uh, uh, if you really have any question, you can put in the, uh, our, our platform, the, our platform, the, uh, uh, comment section, I think. Yeah, I, I'm not too familiar with the new platform yet, like, anyhow. Okay, so, so, the secondary structure, guys. Let's say I use a straight line to represent this primary structure. Now, secondary structure is where the polypeptide will coil. Okay, the keyword, huh? Polypeptide coil. When it coil, we get either alpha helix or beta pleated sheet. Okay. Dalam BM, dalam BM, polypeptida akan berlingkah. Polypeptida akan berlingkah. Uh, kita akan dapat helix alpha dalam BM. Uh, kita akan dapat helix alpha ataupun, ataupun, okay, I'll write this now. Uh, uh, kita panggil ini kepingan, kepingan belisu beta. Okay. So, uh, apabila polypeptida berlingkar, kita akan dapat helix alpha ataupun kepingan berlisu beta. Okay, jelas tak? Hopefully okay ya. Eh? Hopefully everything okay. Uh, if you're wondering, sir, uh, one of the student asked ask this lah. Uh, sir, is this uh, beta pleated? No, beta pleated is like folded lah. Folded. It's something like this lah. Uh. Let's say I fold this one time, two time. It's something like this. This is beta beta pleated sheet okay but most of the time the books show this one which actually refers to uh, alpha helix yeah why they show this is because the tertiary this polypeptide will uh, will then fold berlipat okay here uh, tertiary we say polypeptide fold when the polypeptide fold, we get a globular molecule. Okay, apabila polypeptida uh, berlipat, kita akan dapat molecule globule. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and last but not least, guys, uh, this will then form the the quaternary structure. I'll, I'll draw it here lah. Quaternary here. I draw it here lah. Okay, one polypeptide, two polypeptide, uh, three polypeptide, four polypeptide. Okay, what is a uh, quaternary structure? Now, some of you in your mind, oh, sir, ini hemoglobin. Betul, very good. Now, what is hemoglobin all about? Uh, it is a, it is a, Quaternary structure whereby we can see two or more polypeptide combined. Okay, two or more polypeptide combined to form a protein molecule. Okay, guys, uh, clear?
yeah. Okay now, so um, in SPM nowadays, they love to target uh, examples as well. So bagi struktur primer, contoh insulin. Contoh insulin, you know the one where diabetic patients, uh, they inject before their meal. Uh, that one is uh, primary structure of protein. Uh, yeah. Then bagi, bagi uh, struktur sekunder, yeah. Uh, this is like, you know, um, for Muslim students, you all, uh, Malay Muslim students, you buy baju kurung. The expensive ones are made up of sutera. Sutera, we call it silk. Okay, silk is one example for second. This one is primary, yeah, guys. Don't mix it up. Okay, silk, sutera, ataupun satu lagi kita panggil keratin. You might have seen this word before. Keratin is what makes up your hair. And also fingernail, okay, alright. Ini kuku jari ya, dan juga uh, rambut dah. Okay, diperbuat daripada keratin. Means basically your hair, the protein is, eh, is like, yeah, okay, secondary ya. Tertiary always enzyme, enzyme lah. Dan akhir sekali bagi uh, bagi struktur quaternary sentiasa hemoglobin. Sentiasa hemoglobin. Okay, so these are the examples that you have to know. Example for primary, secondary, tertiary, and then the quaternary. Okay, one last thing ah, uh, before you guys pause and then copy lah, huh? Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, so for protein, there are two tests that you have to know. There are two tests that you have to know, which includes the uh, which includes the Burett test, Burett test, as well as Millen's test, Burett test and Millen test. Okay, all right. So Burett test is where Burett test is where. Um, same as Benedict's test, test tube, let's say got protein and normally protein they use this as the sample albumin huh? albumin is actually, I don't know, some, sometimes students don't know one. egg albumin is actually egg white, telur putih, egg white okay, the egg white is made up of protein so guys, let's say egg white, you put ben uh, sorry, you put burek solution this will turn become a red precipitate. This will turn to become a red precipitate. Then as for Milan, uh, okay, as for Milan, you find out yourself what we use. The morning crowd, so I didn't tell them. I told them you're going to find yourself. But at the end of the day, kalau, kalau larutan itu merupakan protein, kita akan dapat warna ungu. We will get, uh, we will, ungu is what? Uh? Ah, purple. We will get a purple solution as our result. Okay, guys. Okay, now, uh, so basically, um, you can pause and you copy the whole thing. As I said in the first video, the the this this today's mo this morning's class include the copying time. That's why uh, I'm summarizing the whole thing, lah. Okay, all right. So I think you need to proceed to the next video, which is lipid, lah, and just continue from there. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.